Welcome to Throwback Thursday. Today, we're going to be looking at exponents. Specifically, we're going to multiply and simplify. And these come from 1921, over 100 years ago. Let's look at number one. We're going to multiply 3a squared minus 4ab plus 5b squared by 7. Now we're going to use the distributive property, so I'm going to multiply every piece by 7. We end up with 21a squared minus 28ab plus 35b squared. Cool! Let's do number 2. We're going to multiply by 12, by 12. so I'm going to write the 12 first. We have 2a to the third plus 4 a squared B minus 5 a B squared plus 6 B to the third now we're going to distribute just like we did with the last one all right 12 times 2 is 24 a to the third 12 times 4 is 48 a squared B minus 60 a B squared plus 72 B to the third. Now for this one, let's double check we don't have anything in common that we can put together. I have an A to the third, no other A to the thirds. I have A squared B. Now when I look at this one, this is A B squared. So those are not common, they're not like terms. And then we end up with a B to the third. So that turns out to be our solution, our answer. Let's look at number three. We're going to multiply 4x squared times 4x squared plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now I have one little mistake. This is actually 4x to the third power. There we go. Once again, we're going to use our distributive property. We're going to have 4x squared. I'm going to write this one out. 4x squared times 4x to the third. 4 times 4 is 16. Now, when we multiply and we have the same base, we just add the exponents. So this will be x to the fifth. I'm going to take 4x squared times 3x squared. 4 times 3 is 12, a positive 12. I'm going to add my exponents because I'm multiplying x to the 4th. Now I'm going to do 4x squared times 4x. I'm going to put a negative in there, negative 4x. So 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. x to the 2nd times x is x to the 3rd. And finally, I don't know if I have that line there, we're going to take 4x squared times negative 5. So 4 times negative 5 is negative 20x squared. Now when I look at these, I have an x to the 5th, x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, x squared. It's actually in descending order, and none of those are like terms. So that turns out to be the solution for this one. We have one more. I'm going to shrink this a little bit so I can write it out. We're going to take 20ab times 10a squared plus 5b squared plus 3c squared minus 15ab plus 10bc minus 12ac. Yep, all of that stuff. Okay. All right, well, we're going to use the distributive property again. So I'm going to write these out like I did the last one. 20AB times 10A squared. 20 times 10 is 200. A is A to the first, so I have three A's, A to the third, B. 20 times 5B squared, so 20AB times 5B squared. 20 times 5 is 100, positive 100. 
uh, just an A, but now I have three Bs, A to the third. The next one is 20 AB times three C squared. So 20 times three is 60. And now none of them have the same base. So it is going to be ABC squared. We're gonna do the next one. We're going to have 20 AB times negative 15 AB, which is negative 300. I have two A's, so that is A squared. Two B's is B squared, there we go. And the next one, I'm running out a little bit of room, so I'm gonna write it down here. 20 AB times 10 BC. 20 times 10 is 200. I only have one A. I have two B's and one C. And now we're going to have 20 AB times negative 12 AC. That gives us negative 240. I have two A's, so A squared B C. Now let's put all of this together. We're going to have 200 A to the third B plus 100 A B to the third plus 60 A B C to the second minus 300 A squared B squared plus 200 A B squared C minus 240 A squared, oh, am I gonna make it fit? A squared B C. And none of those are like terms. And so that is our solution for that one. Thank you for hanging out with me on this Throwback Thursday.